I stand before you today and before God Almighty profoundly humbled. In our culture, a child is born to a community and raised by a village. It takes a village, sometimes several villages. A few decades back, a boy was born to the small village of Mahalapi. He played in those dusty plains, walked barefooted to school like the rest of the children, made friends, laughed and played, learned. He was growing, nestled in the safety of community, growing tall, growing big. But could he grow up? This question happily is not mine to answer. I leave it to the village to the country and to the world. I stand before you to celebrate the very foundation of the Republic, community, love, respect, Ubuntu. Ubuntu. I stand before you to celebrate the esteemed and paramount office of citizen of the Republic of Botswana. I am because you are. You raised this boy. You nurtured this boy. This boy grew right before you. And it gives me pride, therefore, when I look into your faces, and you look back at me and you say, that's my boy. And you say so because you raised the boy. You say so because you loved the boy. And you say so because deep down you know this boy loves you back. You now understand, if you didn't before, this boy loves you deeply. This boy cares for you. He is your boy. This is indeed a historic moment, most humbling and most sobering. It is one of those rarefied moments that can only be acknowledged in retrospect. It is a story baked into the history of this country from inception. Where this story will take us only God knows. This story encompasses more than what one man can comprehend. It reaches far across the sand-baked sands of Karakubis to the forests of Kavimba. From the acacias of Oliphant's Drift to the shepherd's trees of Omawenen from the plains of Mabule to the bridge of Kazungul. This is your story. Embrace it. Be a part of it. Acknowledge the role that you played and continue to play in its unfolding. Stand hand in hand and shoulder to shoulder in this hour of great blessing. It is with a deep sense of appreciation that I stand before you today. 
the living embodiment of your deep and true resolve. Together, we usher in a new political dawn. This inauguration colorfully and poignantly demonstrates the human spirit and its desire to live in dignity, in peace, with hope, and in unity with fellow humans. This desire is a powerful force for social reconstruction. You, my fellow Batuan, are the true architects of this day, a day that will forever be etched in the annals of our history and the history of Africa and the history of the world. This is Botswana. We have yet again become an intriguing as well as an instructive case study of democracy at work, not in abstraction, but for the world to learn from. The world watches with an eagerness, ready to see how the story of this beautiful country progresses. For nearly three score years, our democracy remained unbroken, unproven, and untested. On the 30th of October this year, together we tested this democracy in a novel way. We tested the peace and stability of our daily lives. We tested the liberty and security of every person in this beautiful land. Invigilated by the world, we waited for the outcome of our efforts. It is with pride and perhaps even a tinge of relief that I can proudly say we have passed this test with flying colors. We toiled internally and externally. We tussled with a decision that weighed the weight of 2.7 million people. It was not an easy decision. I know, even now, a little voice lingered in the back of your minds asking you, did I make the right choice? You will answer that for yourself in the next five years. That is the beauty of democracy. With confidence, I dare say to you, with the same care and diligence that you raised a young boy from Mahalape, you will create the Botswana we all desire. I dare say to you, you have given me strength and hope and I'm prepared to return strength and hope to you a thousandfold. I dare say that to every person, young and old, that today is possible only because of the collective effort that went into yesterday. I dare say that everything is possible for you tomorrow. So my beautiful and joyous fellow citizens, I say to you, dare to dream about a brighter tomorrow and let's walk there together. There is so much love in this country and in this world. If I could, I would invite all persons from all over the world to celebrate with us today. Our differences and our similarities are what make this life interesting and beautiful. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. To those that did not live to see today's propitious moment, today's overcast morning, we feel your presence in our hearts. This day is yours as well. 
celebrate with us as we honor your contribution, having raised the many of us who remain. Your love was acta non verba. Today, our country is claiming its space in a galaxy of stars, thanks to the statesmanship exhibited by our former president, Remukwezi Eric Kiabetsi Masisi. Please give him some love. Please hug him in your soul. Please embrace him in your heart. Rema Sisi, Botswana has set the example of a true democracy at work for the whole world to see and emulate. For that singular act, the former president will remain inscribed prominently in our hearts, has written his name in flaming letters into the portals of eternity. The message I impart is that this is one republic, one nation under God. Lines are drawn in the sand and blown away by the wind. We cannot allow ourselves to, draw, to be drawn into squabbles about where the line was and who stood on which side. The message I impart is unity, togetherness. We are the village that the future will look back to and either praise or look back in lamentation. Let's send our roaring voices into the future to be the wind beneath our sails. Let's carry those who came before us those we have today and those who will come after us to greater heights than we have scaled. Today, let's continue to create a history that we will all be proud of. Kelona, Kelona badiri badizo, Kelona vale rapezi, Kelona vale dumezi, Kelona vale lopileng ramasedi, Koreleza tilele horoge, reterene le seba kaseli mutu. Zahore reko pane mo, retsara gane kama tsoho, kadi pelole kame wa. Ridi relele hatsela rona, ridi relele bo temo kolo, ridi rekale rato, ridi rekabu inelo, ridi rekap tsara gano. Bona. Le hatsile le beilwe mo magetleng a ga bon bo ka moso ja di kokomane tse di ta bo mo maruding a ga me go mo go wena gore mo se ba ke nse o tsetswe o ikane o ikaelene gore wa go dira ka bonata le ka bojothe wa go dira le bothe ba agile ba agedi ba le hatsela ro go emeletsa itsulelo ya lo go tsuletsa le go emeletsa siriti le serodu mo salo go himela le go tsegetsa ditshwanelo tsa batho ba lo go dibela mola o motheo go tloma misa gore matselo ke a boleng a tlisang kagiso a tlisang thokhamo a tlisang lerato bona thabo ya letsatsi le leshe Mikena le tumelo mo go lona ke dumela mo go lona ja ka re dumalane nna le lona ke le bolelela ke re ke tekesele mautong a lo ka gore ke mo fokodi wa lo ula Ula, ula,
I, Juma Gideon Boko, do swear that I will faithfully and diligently discharge my duties and perform my functions in the high office of the Republic of President of the Republic of Botswana that I will maintain the Constitution of Botswana and uphold the laws, and that I will direct my abilities to the service and welfare of the people of Botswana without fear or favor, affection or ill will. So help me God. Kele Duma Gideon Boko ki kana gore ka boikanye go le ka matsetseleko ke tla diragatsa maikarabelo a tiro ya me mo maemong a kwa godimo a botautona ya le hatse la botswana ke tla tlamela le go sireletsa molao motheo wa botswana le melao yotlhe ya le fatse Len Hape Keta Dira Bujo Tejan Kudirala Lerota Mela Di Katero Tase Chaba Sabotswana Kwantara Poiho Kesa Taoli Kesa Sokamele Rope Ivile Kesa Hateleli Ope Amodimo on Tuse.
gentlemen, the President of the Republic of Botswana and Commander-in-Chief of Armed Forces has just inspected the Guard of Honor mounted by members of the Botswana Defense Force. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. 